Sophia Ritchie and her fiance Elliot Grange are now married and we have the beautiful new images that are just out. The Royal Wedding of the Year did not disappoint. So take a seat, sit back as we take you through all the exciting parts of this wedding, especially focusing in on the details and the decor. So as mentioned in our other videos, this wedding took place on the 24th of April 2023 at the Hotel du Cap Eden, Eden Rock. The five-star luxury hotel and venue and is positioned on huge grounds overlooking the French Peninsula. It's a known venue among the mega wealthy and you can see why. Here is a brief video taken from the venue and it's just gorgeous. Anyway, back to the wedding and we're going to start from the morning of. The bride was given a lavish morning breakfast with her bridesmaids. Seated outside, it was decorated with balloons and cute decor, which is the perfect way to start the day, being the bride. And a quick shout out to our friends, Banana Split. They were the planners for this amazing soiree. Okay, so on to getting ready. The bride's dress was by Chanel, and Sophia mentions how at her first fitting at the Chanel boutique in Paris, she'd always known she'd wanted a beautiful lace embroidered water gown, and it's exactly what she got. Photography for this is taken by Norman and Blake and of course Germain Lavin. Makeup Patty Dubroff and hair by Kathleen Riley, all well-known industry names. And of course we cannot forget the groom. He wore a suit by Tom Ford and it was a traditional all-black suit with a white shirt. Prior to the ceremony, the couple met at the mother of the bride's room to sign the ketubah. Here we also saw, and might I add, a very good looking Lionel Richie and the mother of the bride, Diane Alexander, who also looks stunning in gold. We of course then introduced the sister, a maid of honour, Nicole Richie. Even though most of the photos, Sophia looked quite demure and serious. Moments of the pictures you can see are broken with her gorgeous smile, which I wish she did more of. The ceremony. The ceremony was a dramatic entranceway down the steps of the house, which was decorated elegantly with greens, Philanopsis orchids, roses and blooms, a full-on floral paradise. It cascaded down the stairs abundantly, aligning the walkway of the couples that came out of the doors. Sophia mentions it was important to her to have her bridesmaids comfortable and relaxed, and the only requirement was that they needed to wear black. How nice! The bouquets were small posies of peonies, again green and white in colour, and the groomsmen had a matching buttonhole. The florist, by the way, that did this amazing work was Roni Floral Design. The walkway was one of the longest designs I've ever seen, down the stairs, along a white carpet, to a floral headway, which eventually led to the hooper for the ceremony, which was underneath a clear marquee. Now, a royal wedding wouldn't be complete without the page boys and the flower girls, and here we have obviously, Lionel and Sophia coming down the aisle as well. The hooper was absolutely stunning as well, and it was in very similar taste to that of the staircase flowers, filled with roses, stock, large Philanopsis orchids and lots of foliage. Sophia goes on to say, it was very important to Elliot's family and to herself, now that she has converted to Judaism, that she had a traditional Jewish ceremony. They had taken care of all of the legal paperwork prior to leaving to France and had a small intimate ceremony at home with their parents. So now these are just some stunning images from the ceremony showcasing that beautiful staircase and the couple after they had officially tied the Jewish knot. The bridal party images are all here and as you can see everyone's wearing black, very modern, very chic. However, I'm not so sure if I'm personally liking it. It looks like they're all attending a glamorous funeral. The mum does look the best out of everyone dressed though, but where's the smiles? Everyone looks very sad. The reception, this is usually my best and favourite part, other than this fantastic blossom tree that they use to make a table plan, we don't really get to see much decor, except for these two uplights <laughs> that as they enter the room, which is very important when you're decorating, but not much else. You can see here on the tables they had gold damask tablecloths, gold gilt chairs, gold rim glasses and charge plates, but I can't see the flowers, bit of a disappointment. But one thing they did have was a seamless dance floor with a logo, a must have for any wedding for that first dance. Look at it, it's beautiful. The performances, uh, of course, the dad, the special man of the day, Lionel Richie did perform and he sang one of Sophia's favorite songs, Hello and Stuck On You. And then also they had another performance by Steven Sanchez and as you can see him singing here passionately, he's loving himself and his music. 
Change of outfits. Sophia changed to her third and final Chanel dress for the fun after party where we get to see our favorite Paris Hilton. We covered her wedding um, last year or the year before and you can click on the link to see that. It was an amazing one and she loved her decor. It was a, it was a good one. But anyway, back to this wedding. The after party continued and now the drinks are flowing. You can really see more of a relaxed Sophia as she laughs and enjoys more performance um, by the band Good Charlotte and she looks like she's enjoying herself at last. It only took till the end of the wedding for this to happen but uh, I'm happy for her. And we move on to the cake. One of the last parts of this video and I can't say that we know who created the cake or we can't even really see a clear photograph of the cake. For some reason it's not really that important for this wedding. But as we end the video, we hope you enjoyed the wedding. What are your thoughts? What did you like? What did you hate? Comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And until the next wedding video, I'll see you then.